Welcome back to our bereavement self-care class. On uh, so we're gonna talk about complicated grief. So while it's normal, grief grief uh, grief symptoms gradually start to fade over time. Those of complicated grief linger or get worse. Um, so meaning it's like a it's like being in an ongoing heightened state of mourning that keeps you from healing. So like when you first hear like of someone passing away or of or of um, someone is retiring or going to another job or programs being closed temper uh, for now. So it's just those feelings of, of like are heightened during that time. So that's, and it just doesn't, uh, and it keeps you from healing. So symptoms of complicated grief, if you have trouble carrying out normal routines, isolate, uh, isolate from others and withdraw from social activities, Experience depression, deep sadness, guilt, or self-blame. Believe that you did something wrong or could have prevented it. Uh, this loss. Feel like life isn't worth living without your loved one. So definitely, if you are experiencing any of those symptoms, make sure you talk to either a therapist, a social worker, or a physician or a doctor. Just talk to someone if you're having those feelings. So what can you do for self-care during the bereavement process? So just be kind to yourself. You know that it's just these feelings are happening right now, but you will get through it. You will be able to see the light out of the tunnel and get better. But just right now, just just focus on being kind to yourself. Um, get a checkup, especially if you're not feeling well, because sometimes the grieving process does uh, cause us to become ill or get sick. Uh, get the right amount of sleep. A lot of people lose sleep when they're grieving, so make sure you're sleeping. Um, eat healthy. Drink plenty of water. Uh, breathe mindfully. Make sure you're getting enough exercise by moving your body. Connect with others, especially if they know the person or know like what or know what you're going through. Like, uh, like try to connect with friends from program that you haven't seen in a while. If you're experiencing like symptoms of grief because of not going to program. Uh, express and create, meaning like if you are, um, if you're an artist, you could create things or journaling and also meditation is a good one for grieving. So we'll talk about myths versus reality about grief and bereavement. So we only grieve for death. So this is not true. We grieve from all losses, such as someone retiring or a loss of, um, loss of program moving away, or new home, just any of these are, are all part of losses and grieving. Only family, family members grieve, that's not true. All who are attached grieve. Uh, grief is an emotional reaction, so this is not true. Grief manifests in many ways, either physical, mental, emotional. Uh, individuals should leave grieving at home. We can't really control of where we grieve, so that's not true. We slowly and predictably recover from grief. So again, like grief is an uneven processes and it's a roller coaster with no timeline. Uh, grief, grieving means letting go of the person who has died. We, that's not true either. We never fully detach. Uh, grief finally ends. So over time, most people learn to live with the loss, but they never finally, but they, grief never like finally just ends. Uh, grief is our best left alone. This is not true. Grievers need opportunity to share their memories, grief, and to receive support. So make sure you're, um, if you're grieving, to get support, or if you know someone who's grieving, to offer them support if they need it. So if you have any questions about bereavement and or loss, please email me your answers or questions. Next lesson, I will share them with the group. If you don't want me to share your answers in the group and just want to keep it between you and me, put the words private in the subject section of the email. And again, my email is selfcare.encore at gmail.com. And in the subject section, put self-care class. So that is all for, for today. And thank you for joining me on this lecture. And I hope you have a, a great rest of the week.